Alrighty folks, uh, this is Dustin Cormier and you're watching How to Rock a Campfire. Uh, today's uh, episode is going to be on a classic Van Halen song. Um, uh, it's, it starts off acoustic and that's why I always play it. And then when it gets to the electric part, I just, uh, the electric part, I guess I'm just going to give her on it. So um, this is Ice Cream Man by Van Halen. Uh, I'm going to show you guys at least the first, uh, the first little, uh, the main important parts to playing this song and the, the little gimmicks that he's doing in there to get that sound. And then I guess I'm just going to play it through for you guys. So, uh, what he's doing uh, for Ice Cream Man, it's your basic, basic blues style of, style of song, right? So what I'm doing there is a lot of times you'll hear I've got that little snap on the on the high end. Um, first of all, uh, he he's doing the he's combining the the chord the guitar chord, which is you know this you know these high the high strings of the chord with the the sweeping bass groove right, which is uh, first third fifth and then sixth right first third first sixth fifth first. Third, fifth, sixth, fifth, first, third, fifth, sixth, fifth, that kind of thing. So you're gonna do an E style seventh chord, uh, E seventh style rather. You're gonna do your E seventh, and um, that's what's going to allow you to have your pinky to be freed in order to give you the room and the space to play uh, the bass groove as you do the rest of the chords. Okay, so you're gonna you're gonna hit. Um, you're gonna hit the. You're gonna accent by plucking um, the, the the first note. Uh, the, the, well, you're gonna pluck an accent each note as you go along on the bass. Okay. So when you ever hear a bass note, it's like a downward pluck with your pick. Okay. So you do the downward pluck on the note, and then you have a quick little snap up on the uh, on the upstroke. Okay. All you'll see that I'm do. All that I'm doing is I'll have the the, the the first pluck and then the upward pluck. Right. So uh, you do the 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 downward pluck and then the upward pluck and then on the second note uh, you don't tend to do the upward pluck. In, in case that's confusing you, you go uh, first note then upward and then just the downward on the third which is that G sharp note you'll notice that my pinky is on the fourth fret of the E string okay it's a little bit fast I know but it's just something you got to practice okay okay uh, so the only time you have that extra upward pluck is after the first pluck and then you do the downward pluck on the third downward pluck on the fifth and then you also, after the after you hit the sixth of the E chord, which is the C sharp, which is the fourth fret of the A string, okay, that's that note right there, right? But you're gonna hit it with your pinky. And after you hit that sixth, that's the other note where you ha you're gonna have the upward pluck after. Okay, and so that's what is allowing uh, Eddie to, uh, to do that uh, funky little kind of groove, right? Um, so you're playing the bass groove. Basically, the bass groove is just, the, like I said, the first, third, fifth, and then sixth, and then back to the fifth. If you guys want, uh, maybe you should practice that low bass groove before you start adding the rest of the guitar in there, okay? Because this song is kind of really all about feel, you know what I mean? And you're really going to know what I mean when I actually start giving her on the song, okay? So for now, just practice that low bass groove. Bow, bow, bow. what is basically just that bass groove. That's what really kind of makes this, gives this song a little bit of right? 
And then so he does that. So uh, now sometimes he a babe and needs something to keep you cool. So he goes to the A and he does basically the exact same thing, just brought down to the next string, okay? Uh, so you're gonna do uh, your A style chord, keep that finger on the A style chord, and you're gonna have the bass coming along and sweeping underneath that A chord, just like it was for the e, for the e chord, okay? The first of the A, which is the A, and then the third, which is the C sharp, and then the E, and then F sharp, and then back to the E. A, C sharp, E, F sharp, E, A, C sharp, E, F sharp, E, first, third, fifth, sixth, fifth, first, third, fifth, sixth, fifth, but you only do it twice and then you go back to the E, right? Now, sometimes you may need something to keep you cool. Oh, sorry, I only do it once, excuse me. Yeah, so you do once for the E, once for the A, and then you go twice for the E. Once, sometimes you may need something to keep you cool. Twice, now A. Sometimes here, babe, did something to keep you cool. Well, look out, honey, cause dust got something for you. So now that there's two ways of, of falling back down um, after after the let a look out, baby, cause that's the B seventh, obviously, and then the A seventh. Dave's got something for you. And then you go to your E seventh. Usually, what I'll do is I'll go. I'm a bass player, kind of first and foremost, and so I'll go on the bass route, okay? Which is basically uh, you go, um, you hit the E. Uh, you hit the E, which is the second fret of the D string, and then you hit the open D. Uh, then you come chromatically from that open D to the C sharp to the D and then the B, right? And then so the thing is that while you do this, you want to also keep always keep your finger on the third fret of the G, of the G string. Sorry, the first fret of the G string. That's the G sharp. That, that's the first fret of the G string. Okay, when you're going. Um, to this run down, you're gonna run down to the B, back to that B seventh, right? So, um, right. So you're gonna go. Bam, 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 bam. So you're gonna hit, hit it uh, first, uh, second fret, and then you hit it open by taking your third finger off, and then you use your pinky to go to the fourth fret of the A string, which is the C sharp. And then after every note, you're gonna come back on the high, sh on the high, on that same high accent like you were before, right? Duh. So pluck, chuck, pluck, chuck, pluck, chuck, pluck, chuck, pluck, pluck. You see what I mean? Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. And then once you hit that B, you're gonna go um, chromatically back up to the B again. Bow, 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 which is A, and then B flat, and then B, right? Open A, and then first fret of the A, and then second fret of the A. Now this is, if you've been following, this is what that whole thing's gonna sound like. Better look out, honey, cause dust got some for you. Right, and then once you come back to that, you can do your B7th, okay? Uh, the other way of doing it is by going, uh, keeping your E, Keeping the whole E chord here, and then going on the high, the high end. And what I'm doing by doing that is I'm going, like I said, I'm going to keep my E chord. Use your pinky to go to the seventh uh, after that high E. You go use your pinky to go to the um, the the D, which is the seventh of the E. Uh, then you use your pinky to go to the C sharp. Then you use your index finger to go on the C note, and then you hit the B after, and then you still have to go to, after all that, you go bum 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 to go back to that B seventh, right? Which is, you know, bum bum bum, um, um, A, B flat, and B. That's how you go back into that B seventh, okay? And then so he does another verse like that. Uh, you know, and then he, uh, he goes into a thing where he goes like this. Well, I'm feeling bananas, Dixie cups, all flavors and push-ups too. I'm your ice cream man, stop me when I'm passing by. 
So what I like to do is uh, I'm going to add a little bit of color to this, okay? We could just play this blindly and just play all the notes, but uh, what Van Halen does is he uh, he goes, you know, he goes really hard on the bananas, mix and cups, all flavors and push-ups to love your ice cream and stop me when I'm passing by. See how I went softer when I got to that A, right? And so, first of all, I'll show you how to get to that A, okay? But the whole thing is just keeping that uh, E and then sometimes going to seventh, right? That gives it a little bit more of an oomph to it, okay? Love me them bananas, Dixie cups, all flavors in. And then what he's doing is he's going E uh, to the F sharp, and then from the F sharp, he's coming chromatically, which means semitone by semitone, right? Fret by fret. Uh... All flavors and push-ups too. I'm your ice cream man. And then that's when you come back to your A. And then you, and then you come back to what you were usually doing, right? Um, so uh, after that E, the Dixie Cups. All flavors and E, F sharp, G, G sharp, right? And what you're doing is just basically, the easiest way to do it is to have your fingers to go one by one. Uh, you go 2nd fret of the E, 3rd fret of the E, 4th fret of the E, with your 1st, 2nd, and 3rd finger, respectively, okay? And so that's how you climb up back to the A. Please, man, stop me when I'm passing by. See how all my flavors are guaranteed to satisfy. Alright now, boys, I'll do them! And then it does the same thing again, except it's electrified, so it's going to be, like, really given her you know what i mean and you guys will see what i mean as i play it okay so um uh, i'm just gonna play the whole thing through for you guys and hopefully you guys absorb it uh from watching me uh playing it okay so this is ice cream man by van halen i'm gonna wrap it all together and i'm just gonna play it through for you guys hopefully you guys enjoy it <clears throat> Now, sometimes here, babe, I need something to keep you cool. Now, sometimes here, babe, I need something to keep you cool. Better look out, honey, cause dust got something for you. Hold on now, well, I'm usually stopping by just around 11 o'clock. It never stops, I'm usually stopping by just around 11 o'clock. Push-ups too, I'm your ice cream man Stop me when I'm passing by Oh my my, see now all my flavors are guaranteed to satisfy Now one more time, well, I'm usually stopping by just around 11 o'clock It never stops, I'm usually stopping by just around 11 o'clock Okay, so that's Ice Cream Man by Van Halen, played by Dustin Cormier. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. <laughs> It's kind of a kind of a crazy song, but I like those songs with high energy anyway. So, uh, yeah, um, I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. And until then, peace and love. I'm Dustin Cormier.